power of the Credit Union Act was signed on June 26 by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, allowing credit unions to be organized anywhere in the United States. That same year, another important milestone occurred in the history of American credit unions. Fifty-two delegates representing 20 states and the District of Columbia arrived in Estes Park, Colorado, where they formed the Credit Union National Association, with Roy Bergengren becoming the first managing director. They chose Estes Park, the headquarters of the Rocky Mountain National Forest, because they wanted their program to coincide with the summertime vacation. So they gathered on August 8th, and by early Friday afternoon, August 10th, the last details of the bylaws were put in place. The group then gathered for the famous photograph taken by Fred Clatworthy, a local photographer. Today, 75 years later, on June 12, 2009, a representative gathering of America's credit union development educators has assembled at the same location to pay tribute to those early pioneers of our credit union movement and to rededicate ourselves the same spirit and passion and vision of the founders of the Credit Union National Association. On behalf of credit union development educators everywhere, from Estes Park, Colorado, we salute all credit union officials on this, the 75th anniversary of CUNA. Ain't what it used to be, ain't what it used to be, ain't what it used to be, the old old Charlie. Ain't what it used to be since credit came along.